In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to log other devices out of your Google account. So, if you've logged into a lot of other devices in the past, maybe even a friend's computer or a public computer or something like that, it's often a good idea to go into your Google account dashboard and look through all the devices that are currently signed in to your Google account. And then you can remotely log out of any device that you no longer use, or maybe even a device that you don't recognize. All you need to do is go to google.com on a web browser on any device that you're currently signed into your Google account on, Timmy's going to be using a computer, but you could use a phone or a tablet or anything like that. It might the layout might be a little bit different if you're looking at it on a smaller screen, but it's really the same process and the same buttons you have to click, so you can still follow along. So once you're here on google.com, you'll need to click on your profile picture up in the top right hand corner, and You'll now see a list of all the accounts that you're currently signed into here. So if you don't have any, you just have your main account. But if you have other accounts that you're also signed into, you'll see them all down here. So if you wanted to log out devices from this account, you would come in here and choose this account. But Timmy's going to use Timmy's main account for this. And then once you're in the right account, you'll need to click manage your Google account here. So you'll see you've got your profile picture and your name here of this account. So this button is for this account. So make sure you're in the right account and then click manage your Google account. And now you'll be in your Google account dashboard. And to manage the devices that are signed into it, you need to click on security in the menu on the left hand side of the screen. The menu might be across the top on a phone or tablet, but you'll click security in the menu and then scroll down here until you find the section that says your devices. And then there'll be a button at the bottom of this section that says manage all devices. So you want to click there. And now you have a list of all the devices that are currently signed in on your Google account. So if you look through them here, you always have one at the top that says your current session. So this is the device you're currently using to look at this page. And then if we scroll down a bit further, you might see some other devices. So we have this section of Android phones. So we have Timmy's current Android phone and Timmy's other current Android phone. And you can tell which device it is by looking at the name of the device and the location and when it was used. It can sometimes be a little hard if you have a lot of devices and maybe some old or weird devices, but you can usually sort of look through it and figure out what all the devices must be. And if we scroll a bit further down here, you'll see we actually have Timmy's Pixel 7 Pro here again, and that's because it's signed in on the email app Timmy uses. So, you might get some double up devices like that. Maybe one's the main device and one's an email app. So you just want to be aware of that when you're looking through the list. And then further down here, we also have some of Timmy's old phones. And they actually say inactive for 104 days and inactive for more than 270 days. So if you're scrolling through this list, and you come across some devices that say they've been inactive for a really long time like this, it's probably quite a good idea to remove those devices because you're clearly not using them anymore. So it makes more sense to just have your Google account signed out on those devices. So if someone stole it or hacked it or anything, it's sort of been separated from your account. And moving further down here, we have some Chromebooks and some older inactive Chromebooks. And right at the bottom down here, we have a Windows computer. And so you can scroll through this list and look at all the devices and sessions that are being used on your account. And you might get a few extra, a few times where the same device appears multiple times. 
for example, right at the top up here, to me only has one Mac computer, and that's the current one, but it also has this one that was used about a month ago, so it's appeared twice here for some reason, so you have to look at it a bit like that, and see, no, that's probably the same one. Or if you're really concerned about it, you could just remove this one and see if anything happens. Maybe it was an old device you forgot about, or maybe when you did an update and signed back in, this one stayed here and a new one was created or something like that. So you can probably remove it and it'll be fine. If it turns out you've accidentally removed a device that you do use, it's really not the end of the world. You just We'll have to sign in again and type in your Google password and then you'll be back into it. So if you wanted to go ahead and remove one of these devices, maybe we will sign out of the Windows computer that's at the bottom here. All you need to do is click on this arrow here. So we'll click on that. And now we see all the different details about the device. So we can see that it's Windows and its location and the date when it was last used, and the date when it was first signed in on your account. So you can look at all this, and you can make sure it seems right for the device you're wanting to sign out. And if we look down here, we can see all the different apps that it was signed in on. So in this case, Timmy's account was signed in on Google Chrome, so the web browser, that makes perfect sense, and Postbox, which is an email app. So Timmy's account was signed in there to receive Gmail emails on that app. So we now know if we click sign out here to sign out this computer, it will sign it out from Google Chrome and Postbox because those are the two devices, the two apps that are signed in on this device. So we just go ahead and click sign out and it will warn you you're about to sign out, which is what you wanna do. So we'll click sign out and now it's done. So now that device has been signed out of your account, but it will give you this warning message here saying that some third party apps might still have access. And on this exact device, that won't really be an issue because we saw it was signed in on Google Chrome and Postbox specifically. So it was just signed in on both of those, and by clicking sign out, we've signed out on both of them. But it gets a bit more complicated with an issue like that. If you were to sign out of an Android phone, or a tablet, or an iPhone, or even a Chromebook. So maybe we'll sign out of this Pixel 4 XL, because to me doesn't really use that anymore anyway. And if we look at the bottom down here, where we see all the details, you'll see it just says the only thing that's signed in is Android device. Or maybe if you're on an iPhone, it would just say iOS device, which would basically mean the same thing. And if you've just borrowed someone's phone or tablet to sign in on the web browser and do something quickly like that, it might just say it's signed in to Safari or Google Chrome, or something like that. And if that's the case, if it just says one specific app, you can simply just go ahead and click the sign out button here, and then you'll be signed out of that app and you'll be fully signed out, so you won't have to worry about anything. But if it says iOS or Android in the section down at the bottom, there might be an extra step you'll need to do. To start with, the first thing you wanna do is just click the sign out button and click sign out so that you can sign out of most things on that device. But as it says in the warnings here, third party apps might still be signed in. So now that we've clicked signed out, it's signed out of the overall operating system. So it's not signed in there anymore. And it will also be signed out of any Google apps or Google websites that are on that device. But if you've installed a third party app on the device, like maybe an email app or a calendar app or something, and you've signed your Google account into that app so that you can use part of your Google account in that app, 
it might not have signed your Google account out from that app. So if you think you might have had an app or something like that, that you've installed and connected your Google account to, and you want to make sure that is signed out on that device as well, you'll need to click this manage app access button here and it'll open up a new tab and it will show you these two third party apps or services are currently connected to your Google account. So we can see here we have Edison email, which is an email app for Android. And Timmy has connected Timmy's account to that app on that phone. So that means if someone were to unlock that phone, they could probably still open up that app and access Timmy's emails on the account in that app. So the way you can stop that so that it's no longer connected is you can click on the app you want to disconnect and then just scroll down to the bottom here and click delete all connections you have with email, Edison Mail. And unfortunately, when you do this, it will disconnect your account from this app on every device. So if you have this app on your new phone as well, and you're still using it on your new phone, it'll sign you out of this app on your new phone. And that's a bit annoying, but unfortunately, if you want to sign out of the app on your old phone, there's not a lot you could do other than click this button and delete the connection. So it just means you'll have to sign in again on any device where you still use the app, but we'll go ahead and click delete and click confirm. And now that has been disconnected. So now there is no way that you could access this Google account on that old device without signing in again. So now, once that's done, you can close this tab and go back here and you can click OK. And now you'll be back to the your devices list. So now we've removed a Pixel 4 XL and we've removed a Windows computer. So if we scroll down in this list here, we'll see we have a Pixel 4 XL that's been signed out. And we also have this Pixel 7 Pro that was signed in to just the email. So that's been signed out, but that's okay because we can sign back into that again. And if we scroll right down to the bottom here, we'll see this Windows computer, which has also been signed out. And that's really all there is to it. You can just click on any device you want to sign out and click the sign up button and click confirm to confirm you want to sign out and your account will be signed out of that device, as long as you weren't connected to a third party email app or something. But anyway, hopefully you found this video helpful to remotely sign out of your account on a device. And Tamil, see you in the next one.